Brazil is home to the world's largest biodiversity, and we have abundant mineral resources. We want to engage with partners who master technology so that this partnership brings progress and development for all. Our actions, make no mistake, will certainly attract you to seize great business opportunities, not only for the good of Brazil, but for the benefit of the whole world. Well, listening to Bolsonaro for us was our international affairs editor, Philip Tal. He joins me here on the set. Uh, Philip, we just had a little bit there uh, from Bolsonaro. Uh, what do you think his main message was today? Well, the main message was that he's now in power and he has one aim, and that is to put Brazil back on the map. And he's talking about what he is calling a new Brazil, which is going to be born as a result of him becoming president. So... These are some of the things he said. A very brief speech, only eight minutes long, and then another 10 minutes spent talking to uh, the uh, creator of the World Economic Forum, uh, Klaus Schwab, uh, uh, who asked just a few questions. But nothing particularly uh, hard-hitting coming out of that speech or that questioning, just a few, uh, I think, determinations on his part. First of all, to rid Brazil of corruption, he said money laundering and corruption were going to come to an end. He also said he was going to uh, stamp out crime in the country. That was one of his major aims and to entice tourists to come back and he even call for people to come back to Brazil saying, come back and pay us a visit. You'll be more than welcome. Uh, they need the tourism to, to boost the economy. Uh, he's also calling uh, for more biodiversity, saying that there is enormous mineral wealth in Brazil that needs to be exploited and, and saying that he would like to join forces with other countries around the world to do that, uh, to put Brazil uh, back on the ecological map. I think that's sort of playing to the hands of those who fear that his policies uh, uh, putting out of the Paris climate talk, for example, uh, might be something that he's going to do. Uh, he's also said that he wanted to make Brazil one of the 50 greatest countries in the world as far as foreign trade is concerned. That was one of the aims that he had in mind before the end of his mandate. And three other things that he said, were, which were very important, which were that he wants to improve human rights. Uh, he wants to improve education, which he said was very important for Brazil. And also he was very keen to alleviate poverty. It might have been quite a short speech then uh, by Bolsonaro because there was a slightly depleted audience, wasn't there? Theresa May wasn't there, Donald Trump wasn't there. Uh, why are we seeing fewer leaders there this time? Well, everyone has their own problems back home, uh, not necessarily populist problems uh, that uh, you can you can say, but uh, there is Theresa May, who, of course, is dealing with the uh, Brexit uh, problems back in the UK and her proposal, which was voted down last week in the House of Commons. Uh, Donald Trump in the United States uh, would have liked to have gone, but... Uh, he uh, hasn't left the country. It's day 32 of the shutdown today. Uh, no solution in, uh, in, in sight there. So uh, it would be, I think, bad for Donald Trump to go to Davos when he's having to uh, try to deal with that. Uh, Emmanuel Macron has been signing an agreement with, uh, to, uh, with the German Chancellor today, Angela Merkel, and also dealing with the uh, Yellow Vest protests. There are also two other notable uh, um, people missing. Uh, the Indian Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, he's not there, and neither is the uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping, um, although China's been complaining that it's suffering as a result of the trade war with the United States. So uh, I think Bolsonaro sort of more or less appeared as one of the key speakers in, in uh, Davos due to the fact that many of the world's key leaders are simply just not there. Indeed. Thank you uh, very much, Philip. Philip Tull uh, for us there.